In the last video, we started using the timer counter, and we used a timer counter overflow to toggle a lid. So we want to control the timer counter overflow or the frequency of the timer a little bit more precisely. Um, so we'll now start using the output compare modes uh, of the timer and actually build in a build up a generic function um, to to set the frequency of a timer overflow. Okay, so we need to start with the data sheet and let's go straight to the register description because we're going to just change the mode of the timer. So here's a waveform of the timer counter and we're using it in normal mode and we wanted to use it in capture and compare mode. So we want to set this bit WGM12 because we want to use the timer in capture and compare. And there we're going to need to set up the output compare register with the value. Okay. So here WGM12 is in timer counter register B and we can see that we were actually already writing to that so we can just add and now we will be in CTC mode. We will also need to change the type of interrupt. We were using an overflow interrupt and we want to use output compare on channel one. So we can do that and, but, and notice the name, but I can also just use the intelligent editor, Alt G, we go here and you can see there we have the definition which we're going to replace with this. And I'm going to use that same um, technique to find the compare a vector because I need to change the interrupt vector that I'm going to. Okay, so I'm also going to bring out the timer the configuration function. take in a value representing the frequency that I want it to overflow at. Paste in this configuration and going back to the data sheet, remember we've set this up in CTC mode and we have this equation about how to calculate the frequency. Here um, we have the output compare register which we now need to set up and um, if we want to rearrange this so that we take in a frequency and um, write that to the OCRA. So we're going to basically rearrange the function just like this. I'm going to take this as a comment and put it in my code just to help me know what I need to do. The output compare register uh, 1A is going to be assigned to frequency of the CPU that was introduced in video two, where we introduced delays. Then we're gonna to put in our frequency, multiply by two, and our prescaler, which is 256, and subtract one. Now we must just make a call to the timer frequency and let's see if we can make it overflow at four. So, program. And now you can see our timer is flashing at about four hertz. And if we had to change this now to perhaps 10, You can see it's running much faster now. Thank you.